Hello and welcome to lesson number 7.2. We will talk about vector analysis and vector analysis is quite a broad field. So it's all about the interaction between features, geometries and attributes. Sometimes features are linked to some degree. Sometimes features intersect so that they are laying above each other. They are crossing each other. They are parallel to each other. Sometimes the attributes are somehow connected with the geometries. So like area, if you increase the geometry, area goes up, right? Um, and there are just so many tools and so many ways of processing um, the data. So just have a look here on, on this list of processing toolbox. These come right away with uh, QGIS, so no additional licenses needed for the moment. And these are just awesome tools you can use. So we will not go through all of them, but we will stick to plan. And so we will try to work out the GIS processes is called in the, in the documentation. But what is the GIS process? First of all, like if we are, if we are working scientifically, you need to somehow state a problem, right? So I need to find a house in Svelina, which is the problem. And the house should be maximum 50 meters away from from road because i would like to drive my car there and i'm not that cool bicycle person and um, the, also the house should be well, maximum of 500 no let's say one kilometer or far away away from a school and my house should have at least 100 square meters and i'm trying to find a house which i can buy so that's then a problem for travel or for for a um, uh, property agent, but um, that's a problem that first then. So the second step is to get the data, and I've prepared it already. So we have roads, we have schools, we have the buildings layered. Everything is there. We just need to analyze it according to the problem. So we need to create some sort of buffer around polygons and buffer around lines. We need to address the right buildings with the right size. And then we need to present the result. Presentation was somehow covered in, in one of the last lessons where we talked about map creation and printed and as well as uh, web map creation. So we will concentrate on the first three items here. But as mentioned, we have the data. Now we need to somehow prepare the data for our analysis and the most important preparation step is to create somehow data that we can measure and because at the moment we are dealing with degrees this is a crs called epsg 4326 plain simple degrees north degrees east so measuring there with meters is quite a thing so we will first ask or re resave our items of choice with the correct CRS. So we will save features as with the buildings. We will take the geo package and buildings in a um, system called um, in a UTM system. I've already done this up front of course so I'll place uh, replace the, uh, the feature and so CRS will be the UTM zone 34S for South. So I'll just press on OK. Yeah, we will overwrite the full file. I'll do the same with the restaurants. Export save feature as restaurants. Is it there already? No, we don't have it. Restaurants 34S. Yes, well, it was there already. Save it. And we will do it once again with the UTM zone 34S. Press on OK, overwrite file. We'll do this again for the roads. There it is. Save it. Replace. Also set the right zone okay just go ahead all right file and once more for the schools i 
replace set the zero zero s over it file now everything was projected so we can remove the old items from our map canvas remove the layer yes let's check again schools 34 s is three two seven three four so all the items have the correct series so the first yeah the first criteria was that the the building of choice should be maximum 34 uh, 50 meters away from a real street by real street what do i mean with real street let's have a look at the attribute table there's some high highway attribute is it here that are unclassified track or let's say or sometimes just a pathway or service line or whatever so we don't want to deal with them because this is just yeah it's not meant to be driven by cars there so we need to remove them right but we will not hardly remove them they will we will just filter them out for the moment so press right click there use the filter and let's have a look here we have highway we can do a sample on them and we would like to have the highway not in footway path or unclassified or track and the highway attribute should not be null which means it should not be empty right so let's press on test and here we are uh, here we have 466 rows oh that's quite a number already especially if you are looking at the first attribute let's clear this once again cancel and say show feature counts which is 717 so once again go to filter copy paste this one and say yes now we have 466 items which are roads that can be driven on by cars and now we will work with the buffer function to create a buffer around these roads with a distance of 50 meters and we don't care whether it's 50 meters to one road or the other so the result should not be a layer with 466 polygons we would like to dissolve the result so there should be just one polygon that says well i'm inside a distance of at least at maximum of 50 meters to the next street so just press run now these are all the streets or well, these are all the areas that are not more than 50 meters away from a street now you can see that there's this memory symbol here so we need to make this permanent if we would like to work with this after qqs has closed so let's save it as road buffer 50. let's replace this that's fine so just press on ok we overwrite the file yes this is okay for the moment we will rename it roads buffer 50 and there we are for the moment now the second criteria was it should be not more than one kilometer away from a school so let's have a look here here are the schools so once again use the buffer on the school layer with a maximum distance of 1000 meters or you can simply switch the um switch the value to kilometers and say one kilometer what is segment segments mean that um, this is the some of the 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 criteria if you have a point and you would like to draw a circle around it circles are not very easy to draw draw especially not for gis because a circle needs to have some vertices as well right so five means that you should uh, divide a, um, an angle of 90 degrees into five segments so uh, we will work with, work with that for the moment we will dissolve the results as well and we will store it here to a geo package which is called school buffer 1000 let's replace the file i don't care school buffer 1000 press on okay now the dialog has disappeared don't be scared so it's one kilometer buffer that's it just run 
and there we are so close this and now you can see what i meant so i have here an edge on on the on the school building that the edge can be seen from here to here we have five seconds one two three four five segments for the 90 degrees angle so now we have a school buffer of 1000 we have a roads buffer of 50 so let's find out what are the intersections so what are areas where both criteria meet meet so let's have a look at intersect this is now here on the recently used otherwise you can find out where it is by simply typing so intersection it is underneath the vector overlay so press on intersection we will intersect the school buffer with the roads buffer and we will store it as a geo package and name it uh, intersect intersect roads schools buffer so let's say replace name it intersect and off you go once again just select this one and simply press run now if you cannot see it directly that there is a layer sometimes you need to check the layer uh, layer ordering uh, to find that there is a result so now the screen areas are all the uh, all the polygons where all the criteria meet so we have maximum of 50 meters to a road maximum of one kilometer to um, school now now the buildings comes into place right because we need to identify those buildings that are smaller than 100 uh, bigger than 100 square meters so go to buildings and let's apply once more filter either filter directly by saying area bigger than 100 let's find out has this worked does not look like right so what we will need to do is we need to create an attribute here that holds this information so open up the attribute layer remove the filtering so say the filter needs to be clear okay right click open up the attribute table go to the uh, to the table view and say we would like to create a new field called area which holds an information that is a decimal number and it should be it should contain the geometry information of the area there you go just press on okay now let's have a look on the last entry there oh looks interesting so close this again if you remember one of the last lessons we talked about forms so open up an attribute form select a drag and drop designer remove all the items by inverting the selection remove everything add add the area there just press OK. And now what we will do now, we will we can either um, check for or we apply filter first. Yeah, we need to apply filter first, so let's go there. Save the layer edits. Let's take some time and then toggle editing back again. So we are not in an editing session anymore. Go to filter and say apply area bigger than 100 let's test this well 2333 rows says and now we can see that there are some buildings not there anymore right so check with the base map there are some bigger buildings and some smaller buildings now we can also use the identify tool button and to see the building area or the area size area 240 square meters 337 also the smaller buildings here with 113 but we, you will not find a building that is smaller than 100. now still we have filtered the buildings but we are not sure whether the buildings are inside the school uh, the uh, or intersect right so let's have a look here and say well let's move this above so we need to differentiate this building from this building is this inside the corridor so meets at our criteria or this one same situation 
this would be fine this is not so therefore we will use a tool called select by location or extract by location there's extract that means we will carve out the data and then there's select by location you can choose both but we will go with by ex extract by location and we will say well extract all the all the, 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 the buildings that is fill, which are filtered now right now uh, extract build, features from buildings where when they are intersecting with our intersect and we will save this as a geo package and we will name it subset buildings right underscore criteria and simply press run Let's have a look. Now, now we see something, something is wrong with our data. That means that something has an invalid geometry. Please fix the geometry or change the processing setting to the ignore uh, invalid input feature. Let's have a look on the parameters in ignore invalid features. Do we have something like this? I can't see it, so we will not use it for the moment. But let's have a look here. What was the what was dealing the problem? Feature one. So building was a problem. Let's close this again and choose for the fix tool. Fix geometries. Oh, there it is under vector geometry. So open up the fix geometries tool and say I would like to have a fix on the buildings. Sometimes the OSM digitizers tend to create some crooked geometries where you have some intersection with themselves or something is definitely wrong with a geometry so let's try this out press run now we have created a fixed geometry layer we will rename this to fixed buildings and we will once again choose the tool um, extract by location we will work on the fixed buildings we will compare it to the intersect and we would like to have a temporary layer just press and run again now everything worked out fine let's close this and let's have a look here on the extract location so now exactly that was happening so as we were just choosing to intersect with polygons this was part of the deal as well because it is intersecting it is not exactly within the corridor so you can simply say well i would like to have not the intersects i would like to have the contains right or are within so let's try this and see how we can increase the information or the increase the quality of the results we would like to have that from the fixed buildings press run again now we have created a new layer which has unfortunately the same layer and uh, same name so we will rename them with uh, inside the buffer move it up and now we can see that this polygon here is definitely inside the buffer this is not so this is not part of the game anymore so we enhance the quality of the results because if the entry is over here to that building we are not inside the 50 millimeter uh, 50 meters corridor anymore right so now we can narrow it down by using these tools like extract by location select by location buffer and intersect um, and so you can answer the real problem in the end so where are buildings that i can buy that have fulfilled this criteria and um, i'm sorry for a long time but i hope you have learned something if there's something unclear or you have any questions just drop them as a comment and i'll try to answer them right away Otherwise, see you in lesson 7.3. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.